Welcome back to another Grocery Cycle tutorial video. Today, I'm really excited to be showing you how you can make your very own amazing, decorative, self-watering container garden for your windowsill. And today we're going to be making a spoof on the classic Coke bottle. But unlike the classic thing that is just a bottle of sugary fizz, today we're going to be growing hope and growing fresh herbs, letting you take back control of your own food and your, your nutrition and your health. And this is an iterative design. So today, our design is not just decorative and looking good, but it also has a self watering and aeration hole that is at the right height in the base. And I'm going to be showing you how you can set this up as well. So before we go further, pause the video about now. I'm going to be showing you all the things that you're going to need to make this yourself. You can go back, go away and collect the things you need and you can pause the video at each step so that you don't miss anything and you can make your own watering planter step by step with me. So hopefully you've got everything that you need collected by now. And now we're going to get on to actually making it. Measure up to about 17 and a half centimeters. So what I've got is a measuring tape, and I just use, I got use, start from the foot of the Coke bottle, grab a pen, measure up to 17.5 centimeters, all right? And then just mark it off. Now I've already done that um, at several intervals around the Coke bottle. And then once you do that, you can just connect the lines up, try to make it nice and smooth so that it goes around the circumference. Make sure that the lines connect up evenly. So now you can see I've got a nice smooth line. It's not perfect, but basically what we want to do is get two equal halves. Now, to cut the bottle, we're going to take a notice board pen, so something that you use to stick things up on the notice board, and this is perfect for starting your cut. You just basically place a hole exactly on the line that you've already drawn around the bottle. And that is a perfect starting point for cutting. Now it's really hard to, to just put your scissors directly into a bottle. But I, I have discovered that using a notice board is by far the easiest way to start your cut. You then insert your scissors directly into where you placed your pinhole. And then you just want to cut around the line that you've drawn, nice and smooth, just nice. It doesn't need to be perfect though. At the moment we're just wanting to cut it into roughly two equal halves. And then you'll see that it's not exactly smooth, so my recommendation to get a nice smooth cut is you place it on a nice level surface and and instead of chain moving your scissors you just hold your scissors steady and level level with the surface underneath the level with the table and then you rotate the bottle around so you keep your scissors steady at the same level okay so we just finish off cutting the two halves we might have had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're back now. When we got two equal, equal height halves cut in our bottle. So now we're ready to add our aeration and watering hole to the container. So how are we going to do that? Well, you take your pen again, and you measure, you measure up to about one and a half inches from the bottom. I think I've said online one inch, but one and a half to one inches is fine. And in fact, I think for the Coke bottle, you might want to go one and a half inches. For the 2.25 liter, that is one and a half inches. So you see, you just use the pen to place your hole there at one and a half inches. And then we take a sharp knife with a, a sharp point, and that goes in into the pinhole, just nice and gently. 
you just want to gently insert it and then twist the knife inside of the hole and then slowly, slowly increase the size of the hole. You don't want to slip your knife all the way in suddenly. You want to get, you want to get a hole that's roughly round. So something a bit like this, that should be fine. It doesn't need to be perfectly round, but it needs to be a hole that's big enough for a, a watering funnel to be able to go into. So that's about perfect. All right, so now what we want to do, you take the lid off of your top, your bottle top. So we're ready to go with our container garden. So now we're going to add our wicking material. And this is what makes a self-watering planter per ideal and unique from just a, your casual everyday uh, pot. So what we're going to do today, in the past I've shown you just adding your biodegradable material. We're going to be using a napkin. This is actually something I got from given to me at a restaurant. So next time you go to a restaurant and you don't use your napkin, keep it because you can use this to make a container gun. And also I've got some chucks, an old chucks cloth, something that's still it's been washed off with soap and water, so it's still clean. And I've just cut a strip about 15 centimeters high. And then this is going to be our water wick, and it's going to draw the water up from the base up to our, the roots of our plant. So what, what are we going to do? Well, you loop that around like so, and this is going to be hanging in the water and suck the water up. And then we're going to wrap the paper towel. Actually, we're going to fold this in half. But it doesn't need to be perfect. Basically, whatever you've got will work. You just want to basically wrap, twist this around and wrap this around the top end of the, loop, of the loop, like so. Wrap this paper towel around. Around the loop until you've got a nice, thick, well, like a bung type thing. Something basically that's thick enough to completely block up the end of the bottle. So now you can see that I've got a water wick that goes up to the top and start adding my soil. But what do I mean by soil? Well, what I'm actually talking about, what I'm going to actually use is compost and potting mix. But mostly compost. So organic, organic compost you can get from your local garden supply store and potting mix. Compost is beautiful, beautiful stuff that you that recycles organic matter like mulch. And that's what we're going to add first. And that's the majority of what we're going to add to our container gardens. Why do we why do I like adding compost first? And why do I add mostly compost? Well compost is like Flat gold, it's like nature's, nature's fertilizer, nature's most, I guess it's, it's, it's a plant, a plant nutrient pack. It's just packed full of, of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all these good, really, really good nutrients which your plant needs. And we're just going to fill up our container all the way just about all the way with compost. And compost is also great because it breaks down slowly as opposed to the nitrogen fertilizers you can get from the store, uh, from, from your store. Those can also be useful, but they give you a very short boost to nitrogen or to other fertile nutrients, but they don't necessarily last, whereas compost will break down over time. But then we want to add just a small layer of potting mix at the top and this is only because we're growing from seed and if you're growing from seed you want to use potting mix for your topmost layer so that your seeds can get a nice little a nice easily um, disperse their roots through this through the potting mix itself so there we go now we've got our, our water self-watering 
container full of compost and potting mix that we're ready for the seed. Sorry, but before we do that, we do want to add a little bit of water before adding the seed. So today, I've taken my seeds from the garden supply store and I've taken them, I've poured four of them out into this little, cute little cupcake container. Um, and basically, the easiest way to disperse your seeds, i found, is you get a toothpick and you wet the end, so I've just got a little bit of water there, you wet the end and then you can pick up your seeds. Now, you'll see that the, the, the seed will stick to the wetted end of a toothpick. And that way, you've got these tiny little seeds. These seeds are about this, you know, less than a millimeter in size. They're very, very small. But because we've wetted the end, they will stick to your toothpick and you can spread them around the surface. So I want to put them into the four corners of the container we planted our seeds and this is all you would need to do if you don't care about the aesthetics if you don't care about what it looks like but if you want to have a nice decorative and inspirational windowsill container well you're going to need to do something about that so I'm going to show you how so the first thing you want to do is print off your label so you can download this online I provide these for free from my website. There are several different designs if you don't like this particular one. Um, but yeah, download this, and the first thing you're going to do, once you've downloaded and printed it off, in A3, make sure that you've got, you can print in A3, or if you can't, maybe, maybe you want to print it in two pages, I'm not sure, but um, you want to print it off in A3 in color if you can. Add the species that you're growing, so today we're growing pansies, and add today's date to the plant information box and then you're going to want to cut out a round label but I'm sure you can figure out how to do that just cut away around the black section you don't need that you just want to have the red box but because I know you're intelligent enough to figure that figure out how to do that yourself I've already cut mine out cut it out beforehand so now we get to the slightly more difficult stage which is how are we going to stick this to the bottle? So what you want to do is lay the graphic side up on a flat surface like a table and then get some nice wide tape. And here is the tricky bit, is you want to get this tape and it can be, it can be finicky, it can, you have to be careful with tape because tape likes to stick to itself. Um, but what you want to do is unroll the tape, which of course, when you're on video, the tape doesn't want to, it's the, the time when the tape really doesn't want to work with you. But I'm gonna get it to work anyway, so here we go. There we are, nice. So you unroll your tape, and as carefully as possible, once you've got your flats, got on a flat surface, not like that, hopefully. You want to lay it out so it's about halfway up the height of the decoration and then stick it to the table. And then just smoothly smooth it over. So that it extends all the way over to the other end. and then cut it off. And yeah, if you're like me, you probably you might get a little bit of wrinkles and things, but that's okay. The important thing is now we've got tape, and I've done already done the bottom half, so now we've got the tape adhered to our label, and we've got a nice flat surface. We want to remove, carefully unstick it, from the table, just peel it away, 
And don't worry, this won't affect the ability of, this, of the tape to keep it stuck to our bottle. It'll still be okay. But now is the, the final, final step of the decoration. Right, so there we go. Now we've got a nice, we've got a sticker. We're set to go to add this to our container garden. Now we want to make sure that the top is in flush, is in flat, because once you've added your sticker, you won't be able to reposition it. So there we go, nice and flat with the surface. And so it should be roughly level. There we go, that's about level there. And what we want to do is just make it add one side, so start from one end, and make sure that it's flush with the top, and then just basically stick the label on, and then wrap it around like so, so that the top of the sticker remains at the top of the rim of the bottle. Just like that. Beautiful. And you want to make sure that the ends of your sticker come together at about almost exactly the same height. And there we go. Now we just, it's literally just as simple as you fold over, crimp over the top edge of your tape around the rim. There we have it. There's your self-watering decorated container garden. Now, if you want to make one of these funnels, take a plastic bottle and it's literally just as easy as cutting off the base of the bottle. And I'm sure you can figure this out yourself, but once you cut off the base, cut a strip here. Twirl it around like that. Make sure that you've got the end as tight as possible. And hey presto. You're just going to you've got a you've got a funnel there. Now you just going you're going to need to tape the ends together, but that's your funnel. And I'm sure you can figure out how to do that yourself. And you can insert it like so, whenever you need to water. And you only need to water this about once a week. And there you go, you've got your own decorated container garden. I look forward to hearing, it, hearing from you guys. Tune in later.